Y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. I loved prom. Here's a picture of me when I was a lot younger and more spry. Not going to show you the other half of that picture because that didn't end well. Anyways, those were fun times. And look at me now. <laughs> What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. I just realized I have an AirPod in. Today we are talking about the brand new Netflix movie that is The Prom. It drops this weekend on December 11th. Leave your comments down below. Do you like these Netflix reviews? Let's get into it. So a troop of hilariously self-obsessed theater stars swarm into a small conservative Indiana town in support of a high school girl who wants to take her girlfriend to the prom. And this cast, oh my goodness, Meryl Streep, James Corden, Nicole Kidman, Kerry Washington, Keegan-Michael Key. What is up with Key uh, being in all of these musicals this year from Jingle Jangle to the prom, both on Netflix? Well, he's outstanding as our principal, as is pretty much everyone here. Meryl Streep gives a very Meryl Streep performance, meaning She's really, really good. She's always good. Is she Oscar caliber in this movie? No, but she doesn't have to be necessarily. But the standout for me, even though there are some definite cliches to his character, I, I was actually surprised with how much I liked James Corden in this movie. Um, often, well, not too often, but there are occasions when I watch him you know, on a movie like Cats, maybe, and he's overdoing it, and it's not as good as maybe I'd want it to be, but... He's actually one of my favorite parts of this film, and really the acting as a whole, but the standout for me is actually someone that is a bit more of a newcomer than some of these other actors. That is Joe Ellen Pellman, who is our lead character in Emma. She is the girl who uh, just wants to go enjoy herself at prom, but she can't do that, so this huge group of actors who maybe aren't having the best of times right now because their most recent effort got destroyed by critics, so... They're unhappy. They say, you know what? We need a revival. We have to do something. Let's go help out this little girl in Indiana. And that's exactly what they do. Now, they do make it about themselves uh, for a bit of time. There's even a song that Meryl Streep sings. She says, it's not about me when it's clearly all about her because there are lights and uh, extravagant things around her as she's singing that song. It's hilariously ironic. And we have ourselves uh, a very... A crazy, colorful, over-the-top, at times, musical that is going to make fans of musicals uh, really happy, and, and you're going to have a lot of fun while watching this movie. Now, I did have fun. I did find things about this film that I had issues with, though, for sure. It's not a perfect movie. It was a film that was going to have to win me over with his script, and unfortunately, I think that's the biggest flaw here, is the script is just very surface level. There's a problem, we're coming in to deal with this problem, we have very typical cliche characters, Carrie Washington's character, there's not very much to her, and then when we expect characters to have significant arcs, meaning either they learn something or uh, they stay on their path that they're on but something happens to them, I never quite got there with so many of them, from Mrs. Jean to the character of Angie. We didn't get too much from Nicole Kidman, Meryl Streep's character. It takes her a while to start learning her lesson, but even then, we didn't delve as deep as maybe I wanted to with her character. They all just feel very surface level. I think the most explored character out of the, the huge cast is James Corden's character. I really liked his arc and certain things that, you know, feel a bit shoehorned at the end, but sure, it worked out for the best. And then, thankfully, our main character, Ellen, has a really good character arc. And again, she just wants to enjoy the prom, but those around her are not allowing her. And there are some heartbreaking moments with her character, absolutely. So they do a really good job of conveying that. I wasn't a fan of all of the musical numbers, and not saying they weren't filmed expertly, but uh, in terms of resonance, like how much are these songs going to stick in my head, yes, they have a lot of energy, absolutely, but I'm not sitting and maybe humming it after the movie's over like I will be. A few of the songs, now a few of these songs, are really good. And pretty much every musical number that we get is filmed extremely well. Brian Murphy, who I've not even talked about, directed this movie, and he's brought us a, a few things, at least from his production company this year. And I've been a bit back and forth on them. Uh, some I've really enjoyed, others I'm like, okay. He does a great job at... Focusing on the extravagance and really just the filmmaking of these musical numbers, we have these uh, crazy wide shots where we see all of the choreography and everything happening, and I thought that was great. And the use of color here is truly outstanding. 
I think they do a great job of adding a visual pop and flair to the background of almost every musical number, so that is clearly the focus here, I think even more so than the script, and I, I think they nailed that. I think they got that right. So if you are just in this for some great, fun musical numbers, I, I do believe you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So it definitely nails the musical aspect, and if you're a fan of musicals, I have a feeling you're going to love this. Otherwise, I did want more well-rounded characters. I did want a bit more from uh, maybe even a few of the actors that don't have much of a presence, and there were one or two characters that are just kind of in and out of the movie, and I said, hang on, we needed to explore them just a little bit more. We needed to learn more, and I do wish they would have strayed away from the cliches because it's just very surface level at times. It's like, I want to know more. I know you're more well-rounded than that. It's just like this typical character you see maybe even in a meme, and I just didn't really buy some of it. It didn't really feel believable to me. But in terms of the score that I'm going to give this movie, first off, if you enjoyed this review, if you like what we're doing on this channel, let me know. Uh, I'm still going to score it a 62%. I think there's enough here uh, for fans of the genre and for fans of these actors for sure. Again, Keegan-Michael Key was a huge surprise here. I think you're going to enjoy it. Otherwise, I did want more. I did maybe even expect a bit more. But in terms of what Ryan Murphy is doing, it definitely fits in his style, and a lot of fans are going to appreciate that. So, The Prom, are you watching it this weekend on Netflix? This was a spoiler-free review. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned, because we have a lot on this channel. I'm working on Alice in Borderland, the brand-new Netflix series, and uh, tomorrow's going to be a big day for news in terms of Disney. So, we'll see you soon.